Hi guys, this is Maverick Paul, the Chemistry Guru. Now in this video, we want to discuss the suggested solution for 2019 A-Levels H2 Chemistry, Paper 1, Question 24. Alright, Question 24, a liquid P is sparingly soluble in water. It dissolves readily in coal, hydrochloric acid. Evaporation of this solution yields a crystalline solid. So what could be P? We're given four options, A, B, C, D. The first guy, C6H5, CO, CH3. This is a ketone functional group. Then for B, C6H5, CO, NH2. This is amine functional group. Then for option C, C6H5, NH2. This is amine functional group. In particular, this is my phenol amine. Then for D, C6H5, OH. This is phenol functional group. So this question is pretty straightforward because if I have a liquid P that is sparingly soluble in water, which is not surprising for most organic compounds, the solubility in water is pretty bad, not very soluble. Then it dissolves readily in coal hydrochloric acid. Now, if the question mentions coal condition, then this will have to be an acid-base reaction. So what this means is inside P, there's something that can react with HCl involving acid-base reaction. So what this means is I must have a base functional group present in P. So P will undergo acid-base reaction with HCl to form a solution, which is a salt. Then evaporation of this solution yields a crystalline solid because the salt, it is a ionic compound, right? So evaporation of the water when the water is gone, then I'm left with this ionic compound or I'm left with this salt. So what this means is we just need to look at the options A, B, C, D and we find the functional group which is alkaline or basic and it can react with HCl. So this exercise it is very, very simple. Now the first one for A, this guy it is a ketone. Ketones are neutral. B, this guy it is an amine. Amines are neutral. Then for C, this is my phenylamine. Phenylamine it is alkaline. Then for option D, D is phenol. Now phenol it is acidic. So out of these four options, A, B, C, D, the guy which is alkaline and can undergo acid-base reaction with HCl, obviously we have to be option C. Alright, so that was the discussion involving question 24. Now question 24, it is pretty straightforward. We just need to know which functional groups are alkaline and can undergo acid-base reaction with HCl. So if you have learned something useful from this video, please give me the thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly video lessons. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.